So this is a preview. There she is in all of her glory. It's real. So let's take a quick peek inside and see what's all in this. So say goodbye to Morgan, everybody. She'll be back. Ah, uh, yes. It's actually a lot thicker paper stock than I originally thought. There's the tribute all the way down. Yeah. Even the printers were impressed with this. I found a few problems, but they were so minor that not to be really bothered with. Like right here. Uh, on Thorf and Tate's map, I guess that's a... That should have been pushed down a little bit. Not a major problem. There's the timeline. Another small problem. There should be a space right there, but there's a knot. Oh, there's some of Rick Hershey's art. Too bad I'm going to have to move that around. Uh, there's all your timeline. Let's get into the nations. All the maps are uh, Thorf and Tate's. I, Thorfinn, I made them uh, exactly as you said. I printed them out. I did not skew them one pixel. Alphacia. This art is um, by Adrian Burkholt. Originally I was using fake McLaughlin's, but then for the monster guide I wanted to use more like a home-drawn style, so I repurposed all of her art for a, a future book. I know I'd like to have used her art, but uh, I was trying to keep a similar uniformity, and uh, the hand-drawn monsters were going to be much more attractive than the uh, the custom monsters and probably cheaper too which was a major factor so here's all of this oh yeah Derek and here's all the nations and all this art is uh, Adrian or Thorfinn for the maps Karamikos I liked it I particularly liked that one yeah skip a bit brother Serene I actually had to have this one drawn uh, there's no real maps of Serene it's just, there's only the one that came in the original book. They never did anything with uh, Top Ballista outside of that. doesn't make an appearance. Hold on, back up. Nope, never mind. thought I made a mistake. Did not. Okay, and then here we get into the land, the locations of Ill Repute. And these, this is uh, Rubus. And this is over here is Misha. They do a large chunk of the art. All the Rubus. And then I think these are Adrian's. Here's your calendar. Here's the crimes and punishment that everybody gave me grief over. Uh, because, uh, yeah, sexual assault is a crime in Mistara, and the penalties are pretty harsh. Lots of calendars. Uh, Morph uh, Rubus art. Jessica Trevino sent me this. This is the only thing that was actually donated, aside from uh, Thorfinn and letting me use his. But I'm advertising it now. And this is Rubus. These are actually the only real player characters from the group I've ever uh, included in the book. Um, they're actually my first group from when I DM'd. Not all of them, because I had so many players, we just cycled in and out. And there's Algo and Morgan and Keegan and Tarla. I actually had to have uh, this one slightly moved because, uh, yeah, there's some side boob. There's some boob in this, in this one. Nothing obscene. Halvorik and Ogren. More holidays. Oh, so many holidays. There's a Duchess and Candela from uh, uh, Misha's art, and that's a uh, they make a sneak appearance from uh, Palace of the Silver Princess. I tried to make as many references back to the old Mistara uh, books as possible. Coins of the Known World, uh, Rubus again. Uh, and surprisingly, Vestland is the only nation that uses all five of the major coins. Uh, there's your factions because factions was a bit. Races and Heroes. Uh, this one's going to get cleaned up a bit in the uh, new release because we got to get rid of all this blood. And um, yep, yeah, can't show those. So those are, this has already been uh, censored. But I wanted this uh, for me. Oh, what else is there? Here's uh, another nice piece from Misha. The races. Uh, the Tortles wearing armor, but we're just going to say it's ceremonial. You got the Lupin, the Rakasta, the She, Belkadi's Elf. Not many of those around. Minrithad Dwarf. There's your Sky Gnome, uh, Halfling, and then there's a Phanaton. Yeah, that's all stuff here. More uh, Misha art. Lots and lots of... Uh, God, this is such a nice book. I mean, the text is raised. You can feel it. Uh, Bella Bocha did the printing. They are fantastic. The book's actually a bit larger than the player's handbook, but this is a proof of concept, so I don't really mind. The actual book will be shrunk down smaller more misha art there's the she 
That was the one that we gave. This one gave us problems because somebody claimed that that pose was impossible for uh, people to actually make until people started posting up pictures making this exact pose. So it's not impossible. It does hurt if you're not limber, but it's possible. Uh, the Mastara Tortle right there. Uh, we actually came up, I had, I, I had actually come up with the, the uh, Tortle rules uh, before they came out with the Tortle rules. I just kept mine, I liked them better. Uh, my Gnomish Bard from Hell. Yeah, I snuck in one player character of my own. Uh, this one was actually going to be for, this is a Yav Elf. Uh, they're not actually in the uh, book, but we included them. Uh, Nanny the Black and White. She actually makes an appearance in the Etrugan revised book that I've been working on that I'm like four pages away from finishing. But I can't seem to get my, uh, can't get the urge to finish it. There's Jimbo Burrell. Uh, this unfortunately will be repurposed in a later book. The final version will be replaced by Misha. Misha was uh, doing all of this art and then she got sick so she didn't do two of the pieces and but now she's better and uh, she's going to be replacing the uh, other art uh, just because to make it more uniform similar we're going to be doing the same thing with the Rick Hershey art because that's what people want yeah there's the other Jimbo piece I used to work with him with Reaper almost 20 years ago can you believe that I haven't worked for Reaper for 20 years I still know people from it more Misha. That's actually based off a character from one of our uh, playtesters. Uh, and there's yep, there's cleavage. That's the one thing this book is not afraid to show is cleavage and forearms. And there's uh, more Misha art. There's the rake. Uh, had to explain to her the difference. Well, we had a problem with uh, right here's the facial tattoos on the Shadow Elf Shaman. And they have uh, a... Uh, I, said that she had asymmetrical tattoo and uh, the problem is asymmetrical as in a space symmetrical and asymmetrical where there's no space are sound exactly the same and mean the exact opposite ah. yeah there's uh, the spirit shaman this one actually had some problems because she modified a piece of art that she had the rights to but then it was pointed out that i didn't have the rights to it but even though that she did and it created a legal kerfluffle on whether she could actually draw, use the uh, rights to modify existing art for this one. And it got so complicated that even a lawyer didn't know. So we just created another piece of art. Yep, yeah, there's, we got to put a, I can't show those. This is going to get covered up. But it's a, a mayor, it's the Toa Makai. They're Maori, all right. And then there's the uh, Tree Keeper. That's one of the more popular ones. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Misha's Skyrim character. Um, yeah, this one right here, um, this one's, uh, God, I've got his name somewhere. Hold on. I'm not going to short a guy his credit. Who did this art? Uh, Sans Gonzaga. I completely forgot about this one space. So I had to do an emergency commission. Just as pure filler. Uh, yeah, we use all, I did the layout all in uh, Lucid. And uh, as you can tell, there's a, I gotta fix that. It completely uh, undid that. Never even noticed that. Uh, not a big deal. Yeah, probably should have put the uh, numbers on the outside, but that's enough. That's you, lucid's cheap, and you get what you pay for. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right there. See another one. Their table system is absolute trash. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, there's no automatically set this to be the similar all the way down. Lots of new feats. Lots and lots of new feats. Um, chapter art. This is the uh, this is the Rubus art. All sorts of awesomeness there. Uh, all the immortals. This was done with the help of uh, Marco Del Monte, um, and uh, he gave me permission to use. Um, he is a Codex Immortalis, and I couldn't use all of them. I mean, his book is massive. It's actually bigger than this book, so I had to pare down the ones that uh, I could actually use. And then uh, I only, I had to, uh, I didn't edit them except for grammar and spelling. And since I'm, he's not an, a native English speaker, there was some grammar errors that we had to get fixed. That took uh, several weeks for the playtest, or the approvers. Lots and lots of uh, art. The uh, the immortal art, like here's Kiratiko. Uh, this is done at uh, Terastia. Uh, 
the uh, and then Thanatos. Uh, these were at Leo Mondrano. He does a lot of kind of alienish, almost sci-fi stuff. Uh, Sierra Grillo did the uh, Grillo. Sorry, you, you never told me how to pronounce your name. Uh, did all of the uh, the sphere domains because I just was. These are actually moved here because uh, the the religion set or the religion area it wasn't very big. I needed more space. Okay, and this is uh, more Rick Hershey. Unfortunately, this is going to get replaced with uh, Rubis and repurpose it later. Uh, just to stay things uniform. Uh, magic item rules, and uh, a lot of them. The uh, biggest thing is, um, yeah, for that one, uh, certain races are available to elves. Uh, magic items don't recharge. That's a major one. And, you know, fifth edition magic items always, oh, it's the morning time, time to recharge my magic item. Uh, the Glantrians make magic items, and they want them to go away so they can sell you more magic items. So you have to use the charge system. The Secret Crafts. This was a bitch and a half to write. Because they don't do a prestige class in 5th edition very well. Though they did. They actually had them. And uh, when I tried to uh, translate them over, we just could not figure out any other way to do it. And even the, uh, e even the prestige class doesn't work very well, but it worked better than every other ability. You get Nordic Rune Magic. This one was a this one was tough because we had one player that really ruined it because he kept uh, trying to go after all the runes he wanted and uh, he would try to kill his character off if he didn't get the rune he wanted or if he died during creation, which was a major threat. Yeah, we uh, hand copied every single one of these because we couldn't find uh, art for them. We weren't going to cut and paste it. You couldn't cut and paste it. So... Uh, I forgot who did this, uh, but they, uh, that, 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 that was a labor of love there. All the spells. Oh my god, the spells. Too many spells. I don't know how many pages of spells I got. Every spell I could find from every book that had a spell. A huge chunk of them coming from the Glantry uh, Kingdom of Magic box set. Because it was written by Monty Cook, and Monty Cook loves mages. He loves magic. Doesn't have anything, he won't do anything else well, but my god, he will make magic spells. Then goods and services. Here we got this one. More Rick Hershey art there. Uh, your magic item availability. I wish I had the... Uh, fa well, this was written before that w the one guy came up with the rather excellent magic item price list, at least the realistic one. So if you wanted to you find out the comedy of the magic item, what's your base chance? Uh, modify it by the uh, size of the uh, town you're doing it. Uh, is it a port town, a trading post, a mages guild? Are you in a foreign nation? What nation are you in? And it modifies it. Yeah, you're not going to find legendary items in a Trugan. Um, major imports and exports. Uh, foreign markets. That's Avgi Kanaka. Uh, Rubus uh, got an eye infection. And he had to pass off some of the art to uh, Avgi, who's another Greek. She did a pretty decent job. Uh, it's all, all by itself, and she also did some of the buildings. So it's far enough away from the other R so it doesn't dis disrupt. Uh, here's your price for your stronghold and your uh, castle construction. Uh, magic items, uh, Alphasian Hardball, you got the rules for gladiatorial games, jousting. I stole the rules for jousting straight from a knight's tale. No, not even going to try to uh, lie about that one. Magic items that you can buy. Uh, these are all nautical, and they're mostly 5th edition conversions from stuff from like the uh, Book of Wonders Magic. Mr. Cork's Luxury Resort. This one didn't age well, because they have a reference to uh, Fantasy Island, and how many under 40 has actually seen an episode of Fantasy Island? But I kept it. Held and Hammer's Tools and General Goods. These are all of the uh, professions and their tools from the Derrickan source book, and there was a ton of them. Then you got Hellstorms, things to hurt people with, Boutique. These are some new weapons and uh, new weapon materials. New, uh, you can, uh, like Extended Shaft, you can give a weapon without, um, uh, without Versatile, Versatile. Uh, you can make things out of Glass Steel, Red Steel, uh, or to add a Weapon Spike. Then you've got, uh, well, let me go back, let me go back a page. Uh, then you got new weapons like the atlatl, which they just adds distance to throwing a spear or a javelin. Repeating crossbow, the casas, the kosari, the man catcher, the war scythe. War scythe is actually just a reskinned uh, war club, just does slashing damage. 
Then you got Epicurean Delights. You want to buy some food? This is where you buy it. Anything from cheeses to meats to different types of exotics. I got a, a lot of this inspiration from the Aurora's Whole Realm catalog, and I just ran with it. It's all unique, though. And uh, here is all. Here's the table of contents. And there is a lot of stuff in the table of contents. And, yeah, that's the book. That's the whole book. It's uh, 224 pages. It's about the size, it's actually larger than the Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to be showing this off a lot. And uh, I need to figure out how to uh, get in touch with the people at Wizards to show it off to them. Because this is basically going to be a, uh, this is me uh, showing, trying to get a, uh, get this published so I can get more money. So I can start making the Dungeon Master's Guide and then the Monster Guides. And then all the nation guides, and all the adventures, and everything else. I mean, nobody's published a book for this in 25 years. Not since, uh, God, what was the last one they ever printed? It was uh, 1995, uh, Mark of Amber. So we haven't had anything in, well, 24 years. And it, it's time. It's time for this to come back. I mean, the players, either they're old school and they want to buy it, because this is what they've uh, been waiting for, especially the new stuff that it would come out for it. Or they're brand new players who've never experienced Mastara. And Mastara is all about exploration. It's all about going into new places and, and uh, just carving out your own kingdom. That's what Mastara is. It's brand new to players who've never experienced it before. And this is what they need to, you know, this is what they need to get started with. It's a, you know, it's a wonderful world and it needs attention. And this is what I'm trying to do. I mean, if they don't let me publish it, this is the most expensive fan work in history. If they do, I'll have it up tomorrow. Though I probably do need to replace some of the art. Because uh, this is uh, 2019. And nipples are a bad thing, apparently. Uh, and so are midriffs and shoulders, apparently, as well. But, you know, I'm not a prude. I, I'm, I kind of don't like that. But I'm not going to go off on a tangent there. So, uh, share this video. Uh, send it to the people that, you know, that like, you know, are in the Mastara, or not the Mastara, but the Wizards of the Coast. To bring it up. I will do interviews. If you are looking at this and you have a podcast or a stream or whatever, I will talk about this ad nauseum. I'm also the guy that did the Mr. Welch list. I'm also the guy that came up with the idea that uh, Gandalf was a, uh, a fighter with an 18 intelligence. I've also uh, done quite a bit in the, the field of history inside of local Houston lore, as well as covering uh, multiple well, several hundred plays in as far as Houston theater. So I'm multi-talented. Uh, just uh, when you're talking about gaming, nobody wants to hear about my last review of Empanada Loca. But uh, I'll keep talking about this, and I'll probably have a walk soon now that my uh, cold is clearing up. And I will talk to all you guys later. And uh, like I said, spread those tapes. Get this out. Let people know that you want it. You have to have it. Because we want Morgan back. All right, peace out, homies.